सब्सक्राइब करें बेल आइकन जरूर दबाइएगा डिफेंस इन डेप now defense in depth is one of the most important concept to secure your data now organization generally uses it to uh, protecting their you know critical data uh, so in defense in depth there is some specific layers so one by one there is some certain layers and at every layer there is some specific tool and specific strategy uh, strategy has been used to protect it so uh, it is uh, you can say that it is very robust and uh, nowadays organization are uh, using it uh, so let's let's uh, uh, let me show you this diagram uh, which will clear your concept regarding the defense in depth that how exactly uh, why it is so important and how does it work okay so let's say there is uh, some mission critical asset so and you can see there is seven layers one two three four five six and seven right so the number one is you know uh, let's start from this prevention that is the policy management uh, where actually we give the awareness to the you know employees we create the policies uh, we uh, we create some threat modeling risk management uh, these type of uh, things we do in policy management to prevent right uh, similarly in the operations if you see uh, there is sim to just monitor uh, all the logs whether there is something malicious happening in the environment or not there is a incident reporting detection response that is a cert team a security dashboard SOC NOC uh, monitoring team 24 into 7 into 365 days uh, every hours they available to monitor uh, the all kind of alerts and incidents right now if we come from the our website right so this is for the outside threat protection why how we are doing at the perimeter security what we are doing we are using the honeypot we are using dlp we are uh, say, uh, we are uh, having the secure dmz which is nothing but uh, you know demilitarized uh, zone uh, which is generally used to communicate from private to public so if you can see this one is the public and all internal is uh, you know private one so this is the way uh, from where it is happening and perimeter ids ips uh, we can set up a firewall at the external one now uh, once we will come in the next level that is the network security here you can see the enterprise message security enterprise wireless security everything is related to network and here also you can see the dlp so generally dlp is available uh, when you will set the rules in dlp uh, it is for perimeter network endpoint as well so you can set all these uh, rules in dlp now at the network layer you can see the void protection uh, web proxy content filtering correct these are the things which we can use on the network security then we uh, then we comes to secure the endpoint security how we can uh, secure the endpoint so in the endpoint we already have the you know antiviruses we have edr to uh, check uh, whatever the vulnerabilities are here or not uh, desktop firewall so if you notice if you uh, if you are having a laptop then might be if it is window then definitely it should be some windows uh, antivirus and uh, there is a internal firewall which we call that should be present on the laptop uh, content security that is anti antivirus and anti malware host ids and ips they, that is intrusion detection uh, system and intrusion prevention system right so these are the things happens at the endpoint secu security these are the, some tools which we actually generally uh, check so now application security uh, at the application security for example your website for example your api how you are taking care of all those uh, uh, security right application security generally so for that uh, i can say web which is one of the most important thing here is the web application firewall so it generally you know uh, stop the malicious traffic towards your application or your api so what is this is what the web and there is some certain rules related to os top 10 uh, maybe 180 something the rule ids 
dynamic app testing or we can use the SAS that is the static app security testing or secure code review we can do at the software level uh, database monitoring and scanning database security gateway shield these are the things uh, we can use to secure the application now at the last it uh, the data security comes so what exactly you do uh, to secure your data so the first thing is that you can encrypt it this is the first thing your pkia right you can uh, use your public key infrastructure you can use IAM that is the access control uh, RBAC you can use rollback uh, access uh, uh, you can say policy right, right? so RBAC uh, with the help of RBAC and with the help of IAM that is the identity and access management you can uh, give the particular role to particular person whatever the uh, you know access is required only those access you can give to a particular person Correct. So this is what we do in IAM RBAC. Enterprise right management, data integrity, monitoring, data and drive encryption. This is what I said related to data. You can use the encryption to secure your data. So these are the things we generally use in uh, you know uh, these defense in depth. So any any of the one layer has been compromised. Let's say if network security has been compromised then after that there are more three layers is there to you know defend your data so this is why it is important this is a seven layers basically and uh, somewhere you you might uh, uh, saw there is only five layers so that is nothing but you uh, they will just keep these things network and perimeter in the one section all these things they can do so i hope uh, this diagrams helps you to understand a step by step layer why it is important and uh, here is some some review or you can say the some revision part is here defense in depth is a cyber security strategy uh, it uses multiple layers of security measures as i sh shown you each layer adds protection against different threats if one layer fails other provide backup security example of layer include firewall antivirus uh, access control this strategy reduces the risk of successful cyber attacks basically so it's like having several locks on different door uh, to house so if i take a very simple example so let's say there is a goal right so there is a ball which is uh, uh, kept behind the seven doors and at every door uh, there is guard security guards who is actually very active and every level there is different different uh, level of security guards so you need to just uh, take that ball so how you can do it so if you if you can uh, broke one then obviously the second one will see you if you broke the second one then maybe the third one will see you so that is a, this is a strategy where it is that's very difficult for an attacker to uh, just bypass all the seven doors and just catch that particular you know ball or you can see that data in terms of technicality so defense in depth is a fundamental concept in cyber security planning organization uses it to build robust and resilient security system and it helps safeguard data and system from various threats so that's what our defense in depth and it's a very important concept so you should go through and you can uh, search more things you can uh, explore more things in defense in depth subscribe kare bell icon jarur dabaiyega